Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're on the ground at KLAX in the new 777 from PMDG. So let's go ahead, jump in it, so we can set up the broadcast SDK so Spadnex will work with it. So what I like to do is start directly here on the runway. That way everything is powered up and everything is ready to go. I also like to go ahead and jump into the PMDG setup because if you come into your aircraft and you set up some equipment by doing a few of these things, what'll happen is we're gonna end up setting up this configuration for this livery, uh, which will write the INI file and the configuration and everything will be good to go. So once we've done this, we have to come back, exit out. So we have to go back to the main menu And yes, you have to exit and quit Microsoft Flight Simulator and go out to the desktop. So go ahead and exit Microsoft Flight Sim. So now what we wanna do is we want to paste uh, the correct search that we need, which is gonna take us to the work folder so we can find that file. Now, if you look in the show notes, you're gonna find two options, uh, one for Microsoft uh, Steam Edition, and then one, or sorry, one for Microsoft Flight Sim Edition, so buying from the Microsoft Store, and the other being the Steam Edition of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So go ahead, find the correct one in your show notes, uh, copy that, and then paste it. Alternatively, if you're in this bad Discord, well, all these instructions are pinned in the 777 uh, topic thread. So you could also just follow along that way. So once we've done that, this will take us to our work folder and we are looking for the seven, the triple seven options INI file. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna edit that with Notepad++. So the reason for putting a bunch of that stuff in is by configuring those things, you'll notice all this has been written. Another way to know for sure uh, that a bunch of my settings that I set were written and I'm in the correct file. Then we come all the way down to the bottom and we're going to add this SDK section. Again, look in the show notes and you can copy and paste it here. You'll also note that we leave an extra space or an extra line afterwards. So enable data broadcast equals one. That is gonna enable that the SIM is going to send the 777 variables back. So all the 777 data is gonna come back. So we need this so that Spadnex can read those variables. So this is the number one issue that people have because they load up somebody's uh, snippet for the multi-panel or an MCP and they get no values. Everything is zeros and this is the leading one. Then for all of you that have the cockpit simulator uh, CDU, this is also helpful because this will broadcast out the CDU screen. Uh, so captain, first officer, and the center unit. So with those three enabled, you can switch between all three screens inside of your cockpit simulator device. Okay, now that that is done, you want to go ahead and you want to save it. So I need to press enter just so that I get another screen. So we're going to save it now that it is saved and we close that out, we can come here and we can see that I just updated it as of 4.29 p.m. here uh, when I was doing this. So, all right, now that that is done, let's go ahead and fire the SIM back up. So now that we're back, let's go ahead and jump straight onto a runway fully up and loaded again. Go ahead and hit that ready to fly button. So now that we're inside of the sim, let's go ahead and make sure that we have Spadnex set up correctly. So jumping over to that screen. So here we got Spad.next and we are running 0917.4. Ignore the beta. Uh, this is the released version. So you do not need beta. Uh, it is the released version, but since I was on the beta when it went to release, uh, I didn't update because I was already on it. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna come down here to the settings tab, and then we're gonna come over here to status. And right away I can see my LVAR is connected, B events are connected, everything's connected. Microsoft Flight Sim, it knows the version. And here you can see the PMDG 777 is connected. And we got CDU 0, 1, and 2. So everything is reporting 
and only at 78 milliseconds. Now what I did, and you might consider doing as well, is just if you already had the PMG G737, uh, I went ahead and I made a new profile from this uh, just so that I could make my 777. So I clicked on it, I said new profile from this, and I relabeled it 777, and I clicked OK. Uh, part of that is because then we were going, we were editing it, and you just had to go through and replace pretty much a lot of stuff that was 737 uh, with the 777 bars. So now we can make sure that we are getting data properly. You come over to the data monitor, we're going to add data. And if you don't see PMDG 777 section here, come up to your filter and make sure you enabled it. If it wasn't enabled, uh, then what will happen is it's going to look like this and people are like, hey, I don't see the PMDG 777. Yeah, come over here, click on the filters. Now we've got it. Uh, altitude, uh, MCP altitude. So there we go. We can see the value of 10,000. That's also what we would assign. And then if we go into the sim real quick, and I'm just going to change the data here. When you were following along inside of SPAD, uh, you see it updating and all that is changing. So now we are excessively confident, excessively confident that we do have the SDK enabled and data is working correctly. You could always go to one of your controllers and you could grab a button and we could hit on wanting to send an event. You'll notice I already programmed this, uh, but, and sometimes launch it again, we can see that we have the PMDG 777 and there's my left engine starter. And again, same thing on the left-hand side, check your filters and make sure the PMDG 777 events are enabled. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this one. We were trying to be as quick as we could to get you going with the SDK. It's the most important thing. If you don't have it running, you're gonna have problems. If you made it this far, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and come along on the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.